everyone's been seeing the weird gender bent Snapchat filters going around the internet. But what if I use that one to turn myself into a woman and put myself on Tinder to try and catfish men? Hi, welcome to the Quinton High channel. One second ago, there's already 11 people who've liked me. And also, ew, who the hell says that? Now, let me just forewarn you straight away. This was not my original idea. I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Will and E, do the exact same thing. And in my mind, I could just only hear the song that goes, I think I'm about to steal. But I'm also really curious what guys are like on Tinder. Man, I'm getting a lot of followers on my Instagram, at Quinton Hyde. That's crazy. So basically, a picture that I've already taken on Snapchat is this one. Somehow, I still kind of look like a guy, even though I don't have like the most stereotypically masculine face. But let's take some more, shall we? We need to make sure that we catfish these men good. When you're lazy and you don't want to change outfits, but you also kind of want to change outfits, turn your shirt around. There! Now I can take a fully new picture in a new outfit. Hashtag hell yeah. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> look at this one. Literally look at this one. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Heck yes. So we were gonna make a new Tinder profile and I realized it asks you to either log in with your Facebook or with your phone number. Clearly, I don't have either just to spare. I thought, what was last week's video? Buying a new random phone number and putting that online for people to call me. So what do I have to spare? A phone number. Though you need to receive an SMS. Oh, then I have to charge the phone. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm scared to turn this phone on. After my previous video in which I put my number online, so many people have called this. So many people have definitely texted this and I've even gotten comments that my mail inbox, I'm oh, sorry, my voicemail inbox was full. This phone is gonna explode. All for the video. Content, content, content. It's honestly not even that crazy. I expected my entire phone to blow. Never mind, it just it needed some time. I'm actually curious. Call like the voicemail message thing. Okay, I have no clue what the hell happened here, but um, that's not why we're here. All right, my first name is Jenny. I'm renaming this uh, this profile after the woman who sent me a business email saying that I should be an ambassador for her brand, which turned out to be a bikini brand. I told her I'd be awesome for that and I would look beautiful in it, but she didn't reply. True story. <laughs> woman, absolutely. By university, no, nah, Jenny didn't go to uni. She's too cool. Let's select some pictures, shall we? Hey, 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 I had not said that I wanted men. Did you just assume Jenny? sexuality. Totally real. She could have been a lesbian. And also the age range. You just said everything. Just like Will and e said. 30 to 50 year old dudes. Reason being, they don't know what a Snapchat filter is. Smart? Yes. Creepy? Yes. Add to profile. You know what? We're actually switching these. I think that one's actually even better. What is this? You can't literally still be texting me. It's been days. This one arrived a minute ago. People are still using this number? Fellas, this is off. Not right now, but this is off. Okay, and oh yeah, Jenny needs a bio, obviously. Hey, I'm Jenny. I don't speak Dutch. Because I'm not about to subtitle any screenshots. A bit insecure, and then the mm, emoji, because you know why? If they ask like, hey, is your picture like hella filtered? Yes, it's because I'm a bit insecure. Smart. This is really, really weird. How many people? aged 50 are looking for 21 year old girls. That's weird. I mean, I'm contributing to this whole problem, but this is weird. Then again, who am I to judge? Imagine if I started dating someone who's 30 years younger. Wait, this was set up one second ago and I already have, there's already 11 people who've liked me and I already have a match. The, how, how? It's my literal face, but a little bit different. And I don't get this many matches when I use my normal guy profile. Are guys this desperate? Oh, yep, there's another, got another, oh my God. Oh my God, another one. Oh my my god, what? Are you literally kidding me? Also, some of these men are far too handsome to be on Tinder. Like me. Eh. I'm just gonna click like until I run out of likes. Swipe, 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 swipe. I'm already out of likes? Wait, I'm sorry, do girls get less likes? And another match. Oh lord. Wow, that is wild. But I'm not buying Tinder gold again. I've done Tinder pranks before and I bought Tinder gold. We're not paying money. I am single-handedly funding their entire company with prank videos. Oh god, someone said, Anton said, good Snapchat filter, yo. What's the clever response? it is that doesn't make him report this. Mm. Gotta say, you're the smartest fella I've come across. Oh, he seems, Anton seems cool. Good Snapchat filter, yo. And I said, this is not meant to be creepy, by the way. It's a little prank for the internet, because like, don't report this thing. I don't want to make a second one. I know, I know. You're literally the only guy who noticed. I saw some funny stories about it on Board Panda, for example. You would think people would know. <laughs> so, okay, the first person did not fall for it. Hey, what a serious look. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm a serious gal. I'm from, uh, London. Hey, Jenny, where are you from? London. Anton says, it's a Facebook page with funny stories and stuff like that. You can really troll men and find out how lame we are. I said, I love that. It's honestly interesting to see how other blokes use Tinder. Kareem, I said I don't speak Dutch. And all 
also, ew. Lukert, who the hell says that? He says as if I've had an exciting weekend and it's still weekend. Kareem, I thought we've been over this. Yeah, I reckon guys are idiots, Anton says. Well, have fun. I appreciate it. <laughs> I like Anton. Anton's cool. Okay, Seeger, what do you have to say? Nice. Do you hear for study? I'm just gonna say yes for now. Gerald says, cool, I've been there once. You like it in Holland. Which visit cities do you like to visit? You have very sweet picks. Thank you, Gerald. The Netherlands, as I like to call it, because it's not Holland, is finna woke. <laughs> I want to see how he replies to that. Is he gonna feel old not knowing this kind of slang that isn't really slang? I don't speak Dutch sad. Do you like Groningen? Yes, it's finna woke. See, these guys don't know what Snapchat filters are. And I've already been liked by 30 people. There was no time in between these takes. We we've, we've had this account for 10 minutes. Wow, is this what it's like to be a girl on Tinder? Oh, Fabian just messaged me, or Fabian. He says, hi, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. That reminds me of- No, wait a second. Some of you are very young. There's a movie, and there's like a thing with, hi, Jenny. It's a very famous movie, all right. <laughs> hi, Jenny. Hi, Fabian. Ah, sorry, I didn't read it well. How was your weekend? Oh, it was finna woke. Been to London a few times. That's a great city too. Oh yeah, don't miss it too much though. Way too much dragging, you know? I'm gonna make up the weirdest slang throughout this video just to see what people are gonna do when they read it. Doesn't mean anything, but it's 43 people. 43 people have liked me. Or Jenny. I am Jenny. Been awoke, what does that mean? Where do you like to go shopping? This Dutch store called Zeeman. It's kind of like the dollar store. <laughs> also, finna woke is normal woke, but like finna, you know? <laughs> I'm so annoying. Groaning in is better indeed. Fella. You didn't ask me about dragging. Don't act like you know what that means because it doesn't mean anything. So what are you studying? Um, uh, volleyball scholarship. And this is partly because everyone knows that girls who play volleyball are often perceived as a lot more attractive. Smart. How are you? I'm finna woke. Kareem says woke? Where do you live? Yes, finna. <laughs> I hate this, but I love this. <laughs> Why is that your trick? Giving girls money? Oh, 50 year old looking for, I don't want to throw around stereotypes, but uh, I no. I'd like you to explain, maybe during our shopping. Oh, I don't know, clever reply to this. How do girls reply to this? I can't imagine anyone who says, oh, hell yeah, take me to the Z mom. Oh, this is what girls have to deal with all the time, but I love seeing their perspective now, and I now I finally understand why. Oh, I'm embarrassed of my gender. Haha, <laughs> it's slang. I don't know what to, to say to this fella. Oh, sh this guy's way too clever. What club are you playing for? Uh, the process of starting a new one. If you have name suggestions, please let me know. I still have a bunch of chores to do, so I might just let this... I, I forgot that now everything they say arrives on my watch. Oh no. Please just leave. Oh my god. I'm just gonna let this account be for a little while. I'll be- Oh my god! I'll be right back. It's been a full day. I had some fun little conversations with these fellas. So you know how Thomas has said, Hi Jenny, what's your favorite thing about the Netherlands? It's really hard, but I think the Zeeman store. Oh whoa, that is surprising. What do you like about Zeeman? Ha, <laughs> I don't know. It's just been awoke to be a no argument there. You don't know what that means, fella. <laughs> don't- <laughs> What brings you to Groningen, besides Zeeman, of course? My studies, unfortunately my job is a bit further away, and I'm actually really upset that he didn't answer me after that because I had like this really fun setup, so you know what, I'm actually just gonna do that. Job is professional Fortnite dance instructor sent. See, I know, I know, I know what guys like. So Terrell had said, hi there, what a serious look. <laughs> yeah, I'm a serious gal, I'm from London. Cool, I've been there once before. Like it in Holland? Which places do you like to visit? The Netherlands, as I like to call it, is Finna Woke. Finna Woke? What does that mean? Where do you like to go? shopping. <laughs> this Dutch store called Zeeman I love to be honest. Also finna woke is like normal woke but like finna you know. No I'd like you to explain it. Maybe during our shopping. Haha <laughs> it's slang. Slang means snake in Dutch. I mean he's not wrong but why? Would love you if you could teach me some slang. You can add me also on and then he gave me his number. Gotta do some sport now. What sport? <laughs> I do fitness but I like sport in general. Lifestyle is not always healthy so it's good to compensate. You like doing sport? Yeah absolutely. Big curling fan. So you're not only sweet but but also sporty, you don't know me. I'm a huge jerk pretending to be a girl online to see how stupid you are. Not that sweet. Yeah, absolutely, love using the broom thing. I'd like to take you out on dinner on Thursday or Friday. Are there any nice restaurants in your neighborhood you'd like to go to? And I stopped replying because I felt uncomfortable and it's not even like actually my pictures, like it sorta is, but also like not and he would never be able to recognize me, but he made me so incredibly uncomfortable. Patrick basically hit me with the, hey Jenny, what I like about you is that you're open and pretty too. Don't be insecure you live abroad, never said that. Well, I have never lived abroad, unfortunately, so that's already pretty cool. You're open about it. Big plus, because most of the people don't dare, and that's really strong to be open about it. Dude, your sentence structure is- And last but not least, you're pretty. So I hit them with the, oh, thank you, Patrick. That's so nice. And I also corrected his name for him because he forgot a K, you know? He is very welcome. Our bro Fabian was all like, hi, Jenny. Hi, Fabian. How are you? I'm 
I'm finna woke. What about you? I'm fine. Where are you from? London, you? In Holland. What are you doing in Holland? Calling it the Netherlands, which is what it's called. You don't uh, get to flirt with this girl if you mispronounce an entire country's name, just Sam. And then our big boy Ivan was all like, hey Jenny, where are you from? Hi Ivan. London, you? Are you studying here? I'm from Milan, but I'm living in Holland for about 15 years. And I said, oh, that's been a woke. But the main thing about this, apart from the fact that he's a very good looking fella, the guy is three kilometers away from me. And last time I checked it before taking the screenshot, he was one kilometer away from me. So I could run into this guy in the grocery store. <laughs> then there was our friend Kareem, who of course started out that conversation really weirdly. I said, I didn't speak Dutch, blah, blah, blah. I said that my weekend was finna woke. He said, woke, where do you live? I said, yeah, finna. I live in Groningen. He said, what do you mean with finna woke? I said, oh, it's a slow slang word, you know? What are you looking for? You are coming from? I am indeed coming from, by the way. I said, I'm from London. Are you studying in Groningen? He said, I'm living in Amsterdam. Ah, oh, I love Amsterdam. It's a damn good place. <laughs> he said, yeah. So, so where are you coming? And I said, to where? He said, Amsterdam, of course. And I said, ah, oh, to do what? Because I had no clue what to say anymore. I wanted to make more Amsterdam jokes. So, and then Tristan hit us with the old, du hast bestimmt meinen Text nicht richtig gelesen. So obviously I answered, I have no clue what you said, fella. So then there was Zeger who asked where you're from. We said London. He said, you're here for study. And remember, I said it, it was all thin and Etc. Etc. And I said, I'm here on a volleyball scholarship. If you have name suggestions, please let me know. He said, we'll consider, which makes no sense. And then he said, you're tall then? I said, yeah, a bit. I'm a bit insecure about it though. Good thing you're in Holland. <laughs> Now, everybody's tall here. How tall are you? I'm 1 meter 70. If you follow me on any platform, you'll know that that's become a meme where everyone's saying that I'm 1 meter 70. So I thought, let's pigeonhole that in there. He said, <laughs> that's kind of average here. Uh. I said, wait, is it really? He said, I like your size. I said, oh, why? Conversation died. But here's the absolute kicker. I got 99 plus likes, meaning that overnight and everything, hundreds of guys looked at this picture of me, clearly fake and thought that, that is hot. Like they thought what Will Smith said at the beginning of the YouTube Rewind, but were they wrong? If you're curious about the time that I put my literal phone number online on TikTok for people to call, you can click right there or the link down below in the description. I post a video every Wednesday, and every video basically has this kind of crazy shenanigan that I make happen. I do all of this because I want to hopefully entertain you, but to also show you that it's okay to have these kind of crazy ideas and to actually execute them. But of all, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love to see you next time.